In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. You know, when our Lord Jesus Christ came to earth about 2,000 years ago, the people of Israel thought that he's a savior in terms of a, another deliverer, meaning, meaning he will become a king. Our Lord Jesus would become a king, an earthly king, like all the kings, like Solomon, like David, like Saul, all these kings. And Jesus would be like them, a king that would reign for some time, and that's it. So our Lord Jesus Christ perceived, meaning he understood in his uh, thoughts, he understood the people, they wanted to grab our Lord Jesus Christ and make him a king, right? Anybody would love to become a king, right? Yeah, yeah. Anybody would love to become a king. But our Lord Jesus Christ is not an earthly king. He is what? Yeah. A heavenly king. The everlasting king. All earthly kings, they would come and reign for some time. Five, ten, twenty years. And they're gone and somebody else will come after them. And so on. But our Lord Jesus Christ... He's, as we say, what? He is the king of kings. He's the king of what? Kings. And his throne is forever and ever. So he's a king, but not an earthly king. He's a heavenly king. And he's a king of kings. That lasts, he, he's everlasting. And then the Bible mentioned another uh, miracle well, our, the, the disciples went into a boat, and the, the Sea of, Ti, um, uh, of Tiberias, or uh, towards Capernaum, started to be very rough. And the boat started uh, rocking, and the water started getting into the boat. So they got so scared, the disciples. Uh, and then they saw something, or someone walking on the water. Who was walking in the water? And it was dark. Who was he? Yeah? Yeah, they saw Lord Jesus Christ walking on the water. At first, they got so what? Scared. Have you ever seen anybody walking in the water? Right? Yeah. But our Lord Jesus Christ walks on water. Then, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and, and drawing near the boat. And they were afraid. But he said to them, it is I. He told them, it is I. Don't be afraid. He saw many times our Lord Jesus Christ reveals his divine nature. You know what's divine mean? What's the word divine mean? It's a hard word, right? What's a divine, divine nature? Was our Lord Jesus Christ a man or God? Uh, I heard something. Both. He is fully man and fully what? God. When we say he was a fully man, that we say that's a, a, a human nature, like all of us. We are just human beings, right? But fully God, at the same time, that's a divine nature. So he has the two natures in himself. Sometimes he reveals his nature being God, and sometimes he hides that nature, his nature, right? So sometimes we see him hungry. Do you think the divine nature gets hungry? So who is getting hungry here? The divine or the human nature? Human nature. And sometimes he sleeps. Does God sleep? So who sleeps? The human 
nature of our Lord Jesus Christ. And um, he eats. Does God eat? So the human nature requires some food. So sometimes he hides his godly nature, the divine nature, and sometimes he reveals his divine nature to them. Let's, I want to ask you, give me a few examples. When you see our Lord Jesus Christ reveals his divine, powerful nature, such as today, when he, when they saw him what? Walking on what? On the water. So that's divine or human nature that's revealed here. Divine. Give me another example. When he reveals his, his God to them. Come on. Yes. Yeah, when he rebuked the sea. When he rebuked the sea. Be calm. Right away. What happened to the sea? Calm. I bet you if you go through the uh, uh, a sea and you try to say that as a human being, do you think the sea would listen to you? No, because we're weak and we're... But although God says if you have faith, you can do it. So test your faith. All right. Give me another example. That's a good example. Calming the sea. Yes? When he raises people from the dead. How many people of you raised people before from the dead? How many? Nobody, right? So when God raises people from the dead, he shows which nature? The divine nature. Give me more examples. When you see God, what happened if the Look at miracles. Let's be focused. Yes. Yes in the back. Yes. Turning the water into wine requires who? A human nature or a divine nature? Divine nature. Healing the eyes or creating new eyes to the blind man. That's showing that he is what? He's God. He's capable. Feeding the multitudes with two loaves and five small fish. That's a divine nature. Or five loaves and two fish. <laughs> yes. Somebody's paying attention. Oh, which one? Five loaves and two fish. Correct. So he's showing the... How about raising himself from the dead? Right? That he is what? He's not just a human being. Yes. He looked like us. But he is God incarnate. He's taken a form of a human being so we can see him. Do you see God? Because God is spirit. But God wanted to show himself to us. So what he did? He said, the only way for people to see me, I have to become like them. I have to take the body. And that's the divine nature. He put on the human nature. So when he was on the cross, who is crucified? The flesh, the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, or the divine nature? It's a tricky question. Yes. Yes. He, he offered himself as a sacrifice. Fully human without sin. He had no sin. He offered himself. When he was buried in, in, in the tomb, do you think God dies? The, the divine nature? No, he took something, the body, to accept death into himself. Because otherwise, there is no way for God to die. So he wanted to die for us. So he took this flesh and he said, I'm going to die on your behalf. You understood? Yeah? Yeah. So I want you to look in the Bible and see how many things where God 
revealed his divine nature and so many times he hid his divine nature and he doesn't do anything. He acts like me and you, human being, without sin. Okay? That's a homework for you to do. And glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. Let's stand up to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name.